I feel like a fresh new woman. I don't know about you. Hello, my darling. How are you? I hope you are having a fabulous day so far. My name is Tanya Watts. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm just gonna do my nails. I don't know if that's exciting or boring for you, but I'm just going to do my nails. Now, when I say I'm doing my nails, I'm actually just going to do my left hand, because that's pretty much all I do when I put nail art on is my left hand. So yeah, I just wanna do my nails. They have been shaped and prepped and ready to go. And they have two coats of the Gelish Cover Pink Structure Gel. So that's what I am starting off with. And I'm just gonna do some nail art on top. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I wanna do like pop art, cartoony, really bright polka dots. Yeah, so really bright, pop arty. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So uh, let's, let's, let's just, do my nails. All right, so I've started off with my base colors already done. We've got a teal, a bright orange, a lavender, and a hot pink. So on this teal nail, I am just going to outline the entire nail in black acrylic paint going as thin as I can, but this isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially on yourself, but I'm just outlining the entire thing in black. And then I will be popping an exclamation mark shape on my nail. I actually uh, painted it before I filmed it, so I just kind of like painted over top of it just to show you what I did. Basically a big exclamation mark on the side of your nail so that it looks like there is light reflecting off of it. On the middle nail that is bright orange, I'm just going to add some white polka dots um, through the entire nail. Uh, I made smaller ones and then decided I wanted them to be a little bit bigger and more bold. So I made them bigger and more bold. So on the pinky finger, which is the hot pink, I'm going in with like a little uh, thought bubble and I just outlined it the entire thing in white. I was originally planning to just outline it, outline it in white and keep the entire thing just pink, but I didn't like the way that looked. So you'll see later I ended up filling in the entire thing. Otherwise I would have just dotted on this design.
So now back to the orange polka dot nail. I am adding some teal drips onto this nail. So I'm just using the same teal gel polish that I used on my index finger, and I'm just creating some drip marks down the nail. Uh, there are tons of tutorials on how to do blood drips, paint drips, any kind of drips on your nail. Uh, so for a full tutorial on that, you can find it everywhere. Uh, basically, I just go in with my first coat, cure it, go in with my second coat and tidy it up and make it all perfect and, well, drip-like. And once those drips are cured, I'm going in with white acrylic paint and I'm just highlighting those drips so that they look real juicy and drippy. I am sorry a bunch of this is out of focus. I was having a really hard time with my camera today. And so here you can see I just filled in that little thought bubble, just solid white, nothing fancy. So now coming back to these little drips, I'm now going to outline them in black. I wasn't originally going to do this, but they just didn't stand out enough, so I decided to outline everything in black. You could put black paint down first and then put the teal over top of it, leaving a little black outline. If I had a thought of doing that first, I could have done that, but I also didn't want to create too much thickness and too many layers on the nail, so I don't mind outlining it. It's not that big a deal to me. So if there's any little mistakes or if the lines are too thick or you just want to tidy them up a little bit, I'm just taking a little 3D brush with some um, alcohol on it and tidying up those lines.
And I'm just going to do the same thing to this little thought bubble because I thought <laughs> that it was just going to be white outline, but I decided that this also needed a black outline, otherwise it just didn't make sense. So we're outlining this guy in black as well. And because I'm an idiot and got black right on the white, I'm just going to cover that up with some more white paint, and once we top coat, you won't even notice. So on my ring finger, I wasn't quite sure what to do, so I asked a couple people in the shop and everybody said I should do one of those like big exploding stars with a, a word in it. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of outlining and filling in a kind of like a star shape. It kind of just going to fill up my entire nail. Um, this does not need to be perfect at all. It's just meant to look like it's kind of like exploding. So it, it doesn't need to be a real star shape at all. So while I'm waiting for that first coat of paint to dry, I'm just going to top coat the rest of my nails because they are complete. Um, I've decided to top coat them all in a glossy top coat. I thought it would make them look real punchy. Afterwards, I thought it would have been really cool if I top coated them in a matte top coat and then, then, then did the art in like a glossy top coat so that these drips would really look glossy against the matte. But say lovey, they're all glossy. And so I'm just going in on this exploding star thing with another coat of reddish orange paint just to really get it opaque.
And once that is dry, I'm going to outline the exploding star with black like everything else. Cool, so now I'm gonna be adding the word pop in the center of it in teal. You can see here, it now just exists. That is because I could not for the life of me get the angle down for me to sort of hash out where I wanted the letters. You can even see here as I'm trying to just trace over it how much, how many problems I'm having with uh, the angles. Uh, so I just sort of hashed out off of camera and then just cleaned it up and made it darker on camera so you can see how I'm doing it, but I did have to hash it out off camera, so I apologize for that. So I did two coats of this teal gel polish, um, curing in between obviously, and once the final layer is cured, I'm just going around it and outlining the entire thing in black like I did with everything else. Um, again, if you make any mistakes, just come in with your 3D brush and some alcohol and you can clean up any mistakes that you make because I made quite a few on these letters. <laughs> uh, my only wish with these letters is that I added some white on them somewhere. Uh, I didn't, but other than that, I really enjoy this set of nails.
I feel like a fresh new woman. I don't know about you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Do you like to theme out your nail art? Do you like to go seasonal? Do you just scroll and scroll and scroll social media until you're inspired by something? How do you design your nails? How do you choose to design your nails? I'm constantly inspired by other nail artists and other nail techs with things around me, being around artists in the shop all the time, constantly inspired by different things. So let me know in the comments below what inspires you to create nail art. I really hope you enjoyed this video and possibly even learned something. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if hanging out in this little nail community seems like something you might want to do. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!